So um, I'm a senior research fellow at the University of Sheffield um, in the UK. Um, so I work in the computer science department um, in the natural language processing group. And for the last 21 years, I've been working with um, the gate tools, developing the, the whole gate um, infrastructure for language processing. So the training materials are all based around teaching the use of gate which is a freely available open source toolkit for natural language processing that we've been developing for the last 21 years here in Sheffield. Um, and it's widely used in, in academia and industry for a number of different tasks. So it has both um, tools for very simple processing like parsing and tagging and so on. And then it also has ready-made um, custom applications for doing a number of different tasks. So we started um, developing the training course, um, I think more than 10 years ago, um, in order to help people get to familiar with the tool. Um, and also to physically get them together and start building an actual gate community. Um, when we first started, we had um, everyone together just doing every module. And then we realized that we needed to kind of separate it out um, into different kinds of modules. So people, modules for programmers, modules that are more introductory and modules that are more advanced um, for different kinds of needs. So we had various parallel tracks for a while. Um, and then we started moving to a more modular system where we developed a, a number of modules that could be mixed and matched together in different ways. And then when the um, pandemic started, we had to look at how to take this um, online. Um, and so we developed a kind of more hybrid approach where we ran for the first time, we ran the training course online instead of physically. Um, but provide a lot of material online as well. So people could also just look at the, um, uh, use the modules themselves without, um, without having to be there physically. Um, so this was a challenge for a number of reasons, um, partly because when we've run the training course in the past, it's been very, very interactive. So we've typically, we, we introduce a topic and then um, we give people exercises and they try them out and we walk around and we physically look at their screens and help them when they get stuck and so on. So this is kind of thing is really hard to replicate um, online. So um, we try to make the material um, more accessible um, for, for doing remotely so that, for example, we give much more um, uh, help. So, so we um, we let them try it out themselves, but we give them um, the solutions, we give them answers, we give them a lot more pointers to how to do things. So they can try it themselves first, or they can kind of look at the answers if, if they get stuck. Um, and we give them a lot more hints and so on. And then we develop things like we opened up the Slack channel and so on, so people could chat to each other um, and try and work together to solve problems. So we always encourage when we run the course that people can work together rather than just um, doing it themselves. We've always um, tried to make the gate tools as accessible to a, 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 as wide a variety of people as possible. Um, so it's deliberately designed in that way to be used both by researchers um, and by people in using it for, for real needs in industry. So for scientists, um, we, we've designed Gates really to be a, a reusable framework. And that was the actual real foundation for the development of Gates in the first place, was to have a place where you can um, mix and match different tools. You can put different tools together. Uh, you can compare different approaches and so on. Um, so we've always had um, tools for evaluation, tools for um, annotation and collaborative annotation um, and a, really a, a sort of plug and play system where you can try out three different parsers, for example, and see which one works best. So we make no claims that our own tools are necessarily the best, but it's really just a place where you can have everything together in one place. 
Um, we also, we, we keep up with the kind of cutting edge um, of research. We're involved in lots of European projects um, and we're constantly adding new tools to it. It's in constant development. Um, in fact, I mean, it's completely unrecognizable from what it was 21 years ago. So we're, we're constantly um, taking it in new directions. For example, now we're putting in a lot of um, deep learning methods. Um, we've adapted to Python, um, and which most people tend to be using these days and so on. There are very different needs for people in industry from, from people in research. And we actually do a lot of consultancy work um, we often develop tools for companies and we help them to develop their own tools in a kind of customized way. So typically they'll see the tools available and then they'll want to use them for their own solutions, but they need customizing in some way. So um, we either help them to do that or we develop um, tools for them. Um, and we incorporate, let's say, new tools from other resources that are freely available. So again, we're constantly constantly developing things. One of the biggest challenges I think here is that um, the kinds of tools that work well in industry often tend to be very different from the some of the cutting edge research methods that are going on. Um, so for example, um, we can be developing, you know, um, great machine learning based tools, but actually what might work in a particular situation is a really customized rule based solution or a solution that um, involves very different methods from something which might get the, the, the highest accuracy scores in, a, in, a, in an evaluation competition. Um, but so we have to be quite adaptive to um, to people's needs in industry. A, a, a big part of what we do actually is, is trying to use GATE for, um, for, for teaching. And it's, it's actually a, a really nice way to teach um, a number of different kinds of um, courses and tools around natural language processing, because um, unlike most NLP tools, I think the, the, the gate GUI makes it a really nice framework for people to, um, to look at different tools, to understand NLP concepts um, and, and really understand what's going on. Um, but also they don't necessarily need computer science skills because they can just see what's going on. So they can play with different tools. They can try out you know, six different parsers and understand how they differ and so on. Um, and they can play with different settings and, and components. So um, GATE is, I think, a very nice way to teach um, a lot of different topics around NLP um, and to see things like, you know, how we can make use of different corpora and so on. Um, so we, the, the design of the GATE course itself is because it's so modular, it means that it's very easy to take that and then um, to adapt it for um, different needs and different courses. Some people have actually even developed their own um, GATE uh, training courses based on, um, based on our tools and they've made some, um, some extra um, courses which they've shared with us, which is really nice when people give back um, to the community. So. Um, again, you know, the gate is, 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 is a community as well where people share not only tools and resources, so they might develop their own tools and contribute them, but also they often develop their own training material, um, little handbooks or instructions or um, little mini courses, and they, they often share those back with us. So, as I say, it's a nice to have this whole sort of community going on. So we're currently actually looking at um, how we can add the gate services to the Clarion switchboard so that um, people can use both the core tools, so things like parsers, taggers, and so on for different languages, um, but also ready-made applications. So for example, social media analysis, hate speech detection, and so on, um, so that people will be able to use those directly from um, Clarion. So that's work in progress at the moment.